Look at the camera. Do people want to see your face? Give the people what they want. Okay guys, welcome. This is a box, this is a dog. We're gonna do something with both of them. Get excited. Okay guys, welcome. Uh, this is Six Millimeter Badger's channel. Should just call it George's channel, shouldn't I? Anyway, this is my channel, guys. Uh, it's about airsoft, as you probably know if you're here, especially if you're here at the premiere. Good to see you guys. Um, but basically, I'm doing an unboxing. This is from Evike. This is their latest uh, release. Maybe not when we've been posting the video, but this one was uh, quite a good one. Uh, it was another Flash Edition one, so it's one that pops up on their website. Uh, this one is actually the April Fool's Day one. So it came up on April Fool's Day. Um, and actually when I saw it, I was like, ah, I've been getting so many base boxes from Evite that I'm not sure if I would want to do it. And I know that he's starting to get really angry. So uh, I was like, ah, should I do it? Should I not? Now I started scrolling down the list of potential prizes. And the first one, uh, I almost kind of did a double take. Well, I did do a double take. I almost kind of like coughed and uh, swallowed, like choked on what I was eating. Uh, but basically they were calling this... Uh, the number one box, it had six items. It had the Optic Thunder M4, even though it's the non-M4 edition, April Fool's Day. Uh, and that's a 10 grand gun, apparently. Uh, then it has Night Division, 40 grand times two. Then it's got some other small stuff, and it's even got a special edition evike.com tactical airsoft caddy. So you get a human being to carry your stuff around with you. So I was like, this is a deal, I'm gonna do it. Unfortunately, after I bought the box, I saw zero winners. So apparently that was the April Fools and no one's gonna win that. So get excited, but don't get too excited. We're not gonna have an, a human being inside this box. Um, 347 boxes, so it was quite a big drop. And actually the price on this one, 219. They seem to be varying between like 219, 220, 229. It's almost like they don't know which number in that range to kind of fix with. Uh, but actually there were some cool guns in this one, guys. And actually the big thing for me was no M4 edition. Um, you're probably aware that you've seen a lot of M4s on this channel, but so much of the Airsoft's production of AEGs, etc., is M4s. So I'm hoping, and if they're not fooling me with an April Fool's, this should not be an M4. George, should I try and... Is that better? Is that better? You like that? Okay, George, don't get scared, but I've got a knife right by your head. Okay, so I'm excited, guys. Um, as we said, I might stop doing the e-bike ones. Uh, well, not stop doing them, but I need to just give some other retailers a chance because I've done a lot of the e-bike ones. e bike were the best, but there are just so many base boxes. One thing I would say, actually, if anyone from e is watching, um, I would really like it if you did more mix. So obviously you've got some good options, but a lot of them are like two winners of this, one winner of this, and then there's a hundred winners of this and a hundred winners of this. If there were more like, 20 winners of that, 20 winners of this, 30 winners of that, more of a spread, I think it would be really good because the amount of people that are getting the same box and it's getting really boring um, for people buying mystery boxes, I would say, if you're regularly buying them and not just one off. So that's my feedback. Evite, you can listen to it or you can not. Uh, George also backs that because he's so, so bored as you can probably see. So, let's figure out what we've got, guys. I'm excited. Uh, let me know as well, do you like this kind of front-on uh, angle? I'm doing that a bit more. Actually, I shouldn't be doing this, should I? I should do this. Okay, so, um, it's a fairly big box, guys. That's one thing to say. The box is, is actually quite a good size. It's not that long, but it is actually pretty kind of dense. Um, it's a lot different to the kind of long, thin ones we normally get, and the weight of it was good. It said 10 pounds on the box, but it felt a lot heavier than that, so we'll figure out if there's some good kind of weighty stuff in here. Um, so I feel I think two big boxes. Um, okay, I thought that was a packing slip, so I was about to screw it up. But luckily I didn't, because look at this. It's got a beautiful poster of Airsoft, uh, oh sorry, Airsoft, e-bike mat. Wow, preparedness, because zombies aren't going to kill themselves. I love it. And look at that. He's even prepared himself with toilet paper. So that's pretty cool. 
Um, anyway, I don't know if that's going to go on the wall, but I uh, appreciate that and I like that. That's cool. I like how you like do that. It's just good community stuff. So probably that's worth a thousand dollars. I expect is what they're going to say that's worth. What is this? Okay, this is weird, guys. Again, and I've said this so many times. I am buying an airsoft mystery box. So why are you giving me the fishingevike.com $15 jackpot bag? So it says fishingevike.com. I mean, I think it's going to be fishing stuff. I'm going to open it up. Um, just to show you what we've got in here. I mean, I don't even know what that is. Rod tie, that's fishing. I mean, that's a huge, like, massive lure thing. I mean, I've done some fishing, guys, and I do enjoy fishing. Fishing patch. Rod strap. I mean, guys, like this, I know that you've got too much fishing stuff. And that, I mean, what is that? A battle angler. Another load of lures. Um, it's just like, okay, you've overstocked with fishing gear and you're not selling it. Like, the way to get rid of that is not to do mystery boxes of airsoft, like fishing lines. I mean, like, it's all just stuff that's going to sit in my cupboard and I've got no use for it. Like, guys, even if, like, I, you know, get airsoft stuff that I'm not that interested in, at least I can use it or give it to a friend. Like, this is just so pointless. I don't know guys, do you agree? Do you not agree? I am buying from Airsoft e like I'm not buying from the fishing part and it doesn't seem like they care or they care less and less because they're just throwing more and more fishing stuff in the boxes. You may not care, you may enjoy fishing, but for me that's not on really. I don't like it. So uh, e if you're listening, that's my thing. Okay, there is a big box in here that feels like it fits the entire base of this and then there's a smaller one on top which feels like it could be a pistol box. So, Let's have a look. Retech. So they make some good pistols. Uh, they make some cool different styles of pistols. Uh, I've got a couple of them. And actually, I do quite like these. Oh. Okay, so this is a bit different. Um, so this is basically Retech's copy of the Action Army AAP-01. Um, that gun effectively had uh, the Glock bottom. And this isn't the Glock bottom, as you're going to point out to me. But it had this top kind of style rail, almost identical kind of style to the actual AAP-01, although this is more metal, less kind of polymer and plastic. Uh, and it does also fire full auto like the AAP-01. I think performance wise, it's not quite as good, but it is slightly cheaper uh, and it's heavier. Um, so that's a bit weird. So they have actually sent me this with the magazine in it. Um, so, uh, sorry, I, I should have finished my sentence on that. Uh, they copied the AAP-01 and they have the Glock lower. I think they've recently released this, which has basically the 1911 or the 2011 lower. So it's kind of a different style. I actually quite like the Glock feel, but this is nice in the hand. Uh, locks back, which is a good sign. Yeah, the action works well. The other thing as well is I think with the other one, the Glock trigger. So when you cock it uh, and release it or if it's got BBs in it, that trigger stays back and then you can kind of tell when it's uh, cocked. This one does have the safety here. That's weird. Okay, so sorry, safety's here and it is working. Okay, cool. So that was weird. It felt like it wasn't for a second. One thing I've noticed, guys, I don't know if you can see on the camera here, I shouldn't point that on my face, but these are moving independently. So if you can see there where the safety is, I don't think it's going to be a big issue in terms of function, because I generally only use my thumb here for safety, but uh, it just feels cheap. It's just not that cool, really. Um, in terms of bringing this apart, ooh, I'm going to have to check and see if that's the same... Uh, function as the other one but effectively normally you do that and it kind of lifts the top slide off uh, that is a horrible flash hider but you can screw it out why don't everyone do that that's amazing look it's got a thread on it just thread it in and out it's fantastic okay i'm not sure about the color guys uh it's obviously a bit flashy it might be a good indoor gun 
um, you know, actually stick a uh, HPA tapped mag in it with an MP5 extender or something like that. I think that could be pretty cool. Uh, but it comes with that. Um, in terms of value, I think it's probably about 100, 120. We'll see at the end if we get that right. Uh, also comes with two metal rails. So you can attach the Picatinny rail uh, to the bottom here and also to the top here. So if you want to mount things and you don't want to have uh, the iron sights, then you can do that. Uh, only other thing is with the AAP01, it has orange um, holographic rear sights and a green front sight. This one's only got the green holographic front uh, and then nothing at the back, or the standard iron sights at the back. So, uh, I don't know, I really like the AAP01, guys. It's a, it's a great performing pistol, uh, and I've used it for a while. Normally, actually, at the moment, I use uh, Tokyo Marie Glock 26. It's kind of my go-to handgun, but the performance of the AAP01, the range of it with .3s is amazing. Um, so, haven't tested this one as much, uh, the other version that I've got of this, the Glock one. So, if you want to see a review of this, let me know, because uh, actually I think it would be quite interesting to do a comparison test between the two. Right, last thing. That was the owner's manual for the Wii Right, so I'm going to try and remove... Uh, Remove the box from the box. If that is uh, something that, if I can do that, wow. Okay, it's a big one, and it's pretty heavy. So, put that away. Feel from there. It's this way. George, what do you think? Like it? It's a good one. He looks pretty impressed. Actually, guys, he doesn't look too unimpressed. Okay, I think this is pretty cool. Um, okay guys, so basically uh, it is, it says that it is an A and K HMG. Um, in terms of the actual, uh, the thing, it's an M249, uh, as you'll see in a second, because I've got a picture on the back here, but it's an M249 Para. So I've actually got one of these, but I have the, uh, which is the kind of standard cheap model. Okay, we're gonna need a knife to get this guy open. Um, but I'm quite excited. I think this isn't a base box. I think I might have got a bit of a win here. Um, one thing I would say is that I've bought uh, an M240 in the past and I'm actually HPAing it right now. And the thing with that is it's awesome because it's the featherweight version. I actually quite like with an M249 having it light because they're so big that if you've got that heaviness, this is just in terms of gameplay as well, guys. If it's a mil sim event, if it's you know going to uh, something where you're needing realism, like a mil sim west, uh, then obviously get a heavy LMG. Uh, but this uh, feels like it's going to be a heavy one. It's not going to be your featherweight. Oh, this is cool. Okay, right. So I love the packaging. I mean, that is great packaging. Actually, packaging it. Boop. Pissed. Okay, sorry mate, demonstrate that. Uh, but it is actually in tan, which for me is awesome. Um, okay, so I've got a uh, patch. I'm not as think as you drunk I am. It's quite a cool one, different one. Haven't had that one before, so appreciate that. Uh, I've got the spork, spoon, fork combo. So I think that was in most of the boxes. Uh, it's actually pretty useful. Um, if you're going camping, uh, just having one tool, it's actually probably the best thing you can have because uh, you can basically use it for everything. Took one of these on Milson West, uh, great, light, easy. So it looks like this is going to be a... Oh, it kind of looks like it's an open box item because it's got this tag, but it actually doesn't have a pass indicated on it and it doesn't have like a gun test or a date or anything like that. So it could just be that this isn't an open box and they've just put this in here as like a reference or like a code number, but I don't know. Um, right, so in the box guys, we have um, the unjamming rods, which again, I've never used. Uh, this is your box mag, which is uh, plastic. Um, it doesn't feel super cheap, but it doesn't feel great, I would say. Uh, it is electric auto winding and sound control. So I generally, guys, if I've played with guys who've played this, sound control, if it works well, is great. Because every time the gun's firing, then you're winding uh, more rounds into the chamber. Uh, I don't like if it's constantly running and it's just on, or I have to switch it on to just run more rounds into it. Uh, and obviously if it's off, it's not running rounds. So kind of just a uh, 
it's good that it comes with it. I think most LMGs do. There are a couple, I think, that don't. In fact, I actually got in a mystery box a M249 Para from Airsoft GI, and they seemed like they'd removed the, the actual box mag. Um, now, I haven't bought an Airsoft GI box for a while, but I think I might go back to them. I've seen a couple of other Airsoft YouTubers who have unboxed them recently, and they're good, but I stopped doing them because they were really bad. You get one gun, uh, it would be a little bit higher value. With shipping, it probably wouldn't be that much, and you didn't get to choose what you got. Uh, and if they're removing a box mag from an LMG that comes with it, you're reducing the value, and therefore I had to go and buy another box mag, which to me just put a, it put a sour taste in my mouth, let's put it that way. Right, so what I'm really excited about this is that it's tan, because uh, I've got a black uh, LMG. Oh my god, it feels good. Okay, so I'm gonna put this box down. That's about it. There's actually some staining in the box almost, which is quite weird. So I think this could be quite an old model. Um, I think this is gonna be one of those not brand new ones. So we've got the bipod. Um, so the power is great. Obviously you've got the bipod, you've got extendable stock. It's gonna be one of the more portable LMGs. Um, and actually I, I'm not great with these, but I do, do know them basically. Um, okay, so here is going to be your uh, handle. So you push this back and then effectively you can carry the weapon however you would like. It's got that setting and it's got, sorry, the setting down to the side. Um, bipod, bipod is metal guys and I know on uh, some of the other paras that they're not metal. Uh, but it doesn't feel the most solid. You know, it, it's solid. It's going to do the job, I think, but it's not exactly like this is a really amazing uh, bipod. Um, there's a lot of just fluff on it. Um, we have uh, plastic upper on the front. This is plastic, plastic. That's, this is metal. Uh, but in general, handles plastic. This upper receiver at the back is metal, the lower is metal, and the stock is metal. But the front kind of seems to be, obviously the internals and uh, metal, but the front uh, handguard seems to be plastic. Uh, this is a metal Picatinny. Uh, you've got metal, metal sights. Um, so it's an AK, guys. I mean, it's heavy, but it actually feels like well-weighted. I don't know if that makes sense, but like the actual feel of it is not too offensive. Um, it's got your safety here. That's one thing I would say is not as good as some of the other M249s. The rack sound on some of them is awesome. It's almost like that M14 sound. Uh, this is fine uh, and it's good, but it's not amazing. But it is metal, and what I did do on one of the other M249s, which I think was the Airsoft GI one as well, is I racked it and the spring came out, so the actual um, dust cover and slide weren't working properly. Um, in terms of this, removes the front assembly. Is that right? Yeah, so you can actually remove it and see the inner barrel there, which I think is very cool. Um, so I'm going to return that there, and that's clicked in. Um, so guys, I think I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, plastic flash hider, which obviously is going to need replacing, but in general, I think this thing is pretty awesome. Uh, would you agree? Let me know. Uh, what we're going to do now quickly is obviously look at pricing um, and see what it was, but I think this is not a winner, but it's not a base box. Sorry, car alarm's going off there. I think that was my wife ring the video. Um, George? Now it's out of the box. What do you think? Okay, he's not impressed. I think he doesn't like things when they're bigger than him. And this is obviously bigger than him. And it's almost trying to copy his colouring of his fur. So he's probably just feeling like, you know, a little bit put out. Right, price. Let's go. Uh, so as we said, 347 boxes. So quite a few on this one. Um, and there were some cool guns, which is why I bought it, as I said. Uh, I'm looking for a big M249 right now. Um, and I have found it. So this is the AMK, let me just make sure this is the right one. I'm not reading it because I did that last time. Uh, this is, okay, so I'm happy. Let's put it that way, I'm happy. Thank you, E-Mike. I don't care about the fishing. Give me as much fishing stuff as you want if you're going to give me winner boxes. Right, so there were two winners of this box. Uh, this in terms of value. So this is the AMK Cybergun FN Herstal licensed 
M249 saw machine gun with metal receiver open box. So it says it's open box. So it seems like it is open box, but I can't really see any damage on it. And obviously, as I said, they haven't really test fired it. Value on it, $549. So I spent $200 on this box, $219. This thing by itself is worth twice what I spent and I got free shipping. This thing will cost a lot to ship because it weighs a lot. I don't know, they put 10 pounds on the box. It's not 10 pounds. Um, so that is $550. Uh, the pistol, which I thought was, did I say 100 to 120? Um, this one is technically, and this might just be because it's the newer model, but this apparently is 160 to 175, depending on what it is. And it's the WE Galaxy 1911, so not 2011, 1911 gas blowback airsoft pistol. And this one's green gas, sorry, I didn't check that before. Green gas, and it's kind of got this cool flared magwell, which you don't really see a lot in 1911s. And actually the grip on it's quite cool as well, a bit different style. Right, so uh, that's another 160. Uh, and then, so, so this is the thing guys, that they've said on here, it just shows jackpot loadout. I don't know if you can see that on my screen, but it's right here and it just says jackpot. However, when you read it, it doesn't say anything about phishing on the picture. How, oh no, it does. In the bottom corner, you can see phishingevite.com. And so in it, it says phishingevite $15 jackpot bag. So I don't know. Uh, then it says, I'm not as, as think as patch, which is cool. It doesn't give a value on that because they're free. Uh, evite.com stainless steel tactical spork. Now I think they're saying this one's no, well, I mean, I don't know. They haven't really given a value here, but they said $30. And the last two items that they've listed are the very damaged poster, half due to me, half due to the packaging, and the spork. So, I mean, I'm happy, guys. I'm going to give this box a 5 out of 5 rating, which I think might be the first one on this channel. If not, it's the second. George? Oh, you're coming into it. What do you reckon? You like it? Okay, so it's gonna be a four out of five from George. Uh, Value-wise, five, four, nine, it's gonna be six, four, nine, uh, seven, 11, uh, 709. Uh, it's basically about $739, so $750 for $220 spent. Thank you, Evite, appreciate you, love you guys. Forget everything I've said in this video. Love you all, send me loads of mystery boxes. Uh, and is that it? I don't know, we'll probably do a test fire on this one, guys, because it's a pretty expensive gun. Love the kind of functionality of it. That moves a lot. So performance-wise, I'm not sure, but it's an LMG, so it doesn't matter that much. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you so much for being here. Anything else to say? Probably not. I think 17% of people are still subscribed that are watching this video, so thank you very much to those 17%. Everyone else. Thank you for watching the video as well, but please subscribe. Uh, I've been Six More Badger, this has been George. It's been a nine out of 20, very much probably the highest rating so far. Have a great day, guys. Love you all. Speak soon. Goodbye.